So, two years. It's been two years. Where did I go? You know, I could sit here and just be like, oh, I've been working, I've been making things. It's all, it's all building up to this. It's not. Sure, I've written some stuff and I've tried filming things, but Well, what happened? <laughs> so after I did my um, Muppet history on Tickle Me Elmo in December of 2016, that was always meant to be somewhat of a, not a last video, but a close for a while because um, my family was going through a situation where it looked like we were gonna have to move and I wanted to focus more on getting ready for that as opposed to making videos. So it was kind of like a hiatus point. Um, and in that time, I applied to a job that I saw was open and I was like, I'm gonna go for it. And by the time it all got settled that we weren't going to have to move. I got an email from Disney asking if I would like to work at Walt Disney World. They accepted my um, application. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can, I, I'm going to work at Disney World. This is incredible. Then, and this was in, this was in... February of 2017 that I got the email and they said by the way you need to be in Florida for your for all your stuff by February 30th I think it was and it was like this was like the 15th and I needed to be there by the 30th <clears throat> so I did it. I packed my stuff up and with the help of my parents and my brother, I got myself to Disney World. And in that time, I was thinking, well, I'm not making videos. I, I, I loved making videos. That was my thing. And then I thought, I'm going to move to Florida and when I'm not working, I'll make videos. I'll, I'll have this nice place I'll be living in and I can, I can make videos. That wasn't the case. I thought I was going to have this nice place to live, and it was. Uh, it was not a bad place, but I thought I was going to have a room to myself. I ended up sharing half of a bedroom, and the bedroom was the size of... I mean, it wasn't even the size of my room, and I've always made jokes about how small my room is, but it wasn't even as big as this room, and I was sharing half of it. And so then, I all this time I kept thinking, well, I guess when he, my roommate isn't here, that's when I'll film. <sighs> then I got my hours. <sighs> I worked at least 50 hours a week at Disney. Um, I usually got a day off every two weeks. And it was, it was crazy. But the whole time I'm telling all my family and friends back home or wherever, I'm like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever, this greatest job ever. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm doing all this great stuff. and. I loved working at Disney. It was, it really was everything I dreamed it would be. Ex well, at least the, uh, the working there part was, but everything surrounding it wasn't. I wasn't eating, I was barely sleeping, and it was really bad. I was basically a ticking time bomb. I knew it was all gonna come crashing down, and I was basically just just holding on and getting ready for the impact when it happened. And it did happen. I finally just, I couldn't, 
um, I just could not get myself to work. I was so tired or I got injured significantly. <laughs> I got run over <laughs> and uh, so I was, I couldn't walk and I had no way of going to see a doctor about it because I didn't have a car down there. So if I wanted to get somewhere, I had to Uber. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I survived that long. But then, yeah, I was no longer working at Disney. And within 24 hours, I was back in North Carolina. And I came home and felt like a failure. Like, I was like, I stopped making videos. No one's going to care about videos, so I can't. Why do those? I can't even work at Disney World. And I just fell into a very deep depression. And it was pretty bad. And I don't know if I'm really fully out of it yet. There are days that are better than others, but there are still days where I think I couldn't do it. I couldn't work at Disney. And there were so many circumstances that So it's, it's hard, it's tough to get that mentality out of your head. And then when it came to videos, I just kept thinking, well, it's been, it's been a year since I've done any videos, no one's gonna care. Uh, or even if I do, you know, are people gonna watch it? Is it gonna matter? So it just was this bad cycle of emotion and anxieties and it, it's it's gotten better than it was I'll say that but it's still just this lingering thought of everything and then this year I really wanted to make videos again. I kept telling myself, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make videos again. And I would write these great scripts, I would do all this, and then I'd get to filming it. I'd be like, I'm gonna film it tomorrow. It's gonna be done tomorrow. And I just couldn't get myself to do it. It was, it was scary. It, it was, like I said, it was this thought of, is anyone gonna watch it? Is anyone gonna care? Or are they gonna see it and be like, oh, him? Or are they gonna see it and be like, I waited two years and this is what you bring me? Which I know is ridiculous to think. And uh, it's still something that plagues me even today just bringing myself to film this was so like okay you can do it you can do it you can and I don't know why and I just would get into my own head this these ideas of if you make if you're gonna make a video it needs to be like 30 minutes and it needs to be super high quality and it has to have all this stuff otherwise what was the weight it wasn't worth the weight or like I would film something and it would be really good but because I like glanced over or something or I scratched my nose or something like that, oh good, this video is horrible, the whole thing's horrible, it's all trash, deleted. But that's not why I started making videos to begin with. I started making videos because I wanted to have fun and I wanted to, I wanted to blabber about the things I love, like the Muppets, you know? I, you watch those first Muppet videos I did back in like 2011 or 2012. I'm wearing these ridiculous glasses. I've got this Santa hat on. I look so silly, but I didn't care. I was having so much fun. And that's what I want to get back to. It's just that fun. I miss having fun. And yeah, there are some things that I want to make sure look good. I don't want the video to be completely pitch black where you can't see me or like you can't hear what I'm saying 
and it'll just take some, it'll take time. And what I've always loved about my own videos is that with each one, it got better. I learned more and I was able to improve upon it. But for some reason now, I was like, no, it needs to be perfect the first time. And that's, I can't do that to myself. Otherwise, I'll never get anything done. So, here I am, shaking, because I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to upload this, and two people will see it and go, oh, neat. Or, who knows? All I know is, I got some scripts. I got a, I got a huge lapel mic. I've got a ring light. I've got a remote so I can start and stop the camera without having to be like that. And I want to do this again. I want to have fun. And if you want to join me, you're more than welcome to. So let's have some fun.